G'day and welcome to another AFT clip. Now in this video I'm going to show you a little trick um, regarding squid jigs. Now the reason why I'm showing you these is just to give you a quick rundown of what sort of lures we use to catch squid such as these size three and a half Yamashita jigs and also these um, squid spikes that if you use in pilchards, whiting and yellowtail you can use these. But with these they're 25 bucks each and you know, it's, it's heartbreaking when you get one snagged and you lose one or two or three squid jigs where each one costs 25 plus. And then using these, they're very heavy. So if you're using the pilchard, if you're using the whiting, um, they'll just sink down in the water really quickly. And I thought, you know what, there's got to be another way. And I remember down the coast, I was fishing, and I was watching these Asian guys uh, making their own jigs, but they were making them out of chopsticks and I couldn't get my head around how they were doing it. So what I did was I went to the shop and I bought myself squid spikes, which is these here, not the bar, but the actual squid spikes. And then I started to think a bit outside the box and I'm thinking, okay, if wood won't work for me, what else will? Well, it's that easy. A cable tie. Now you might laugh at this, but this has worked so much better than having this. And sometimes these jigs as well, because I'm using fresh live bait to attract what squid like to eat. As the saying goes, match the hatch, catch the catch. So uh, with these, with this new squid jig that I have made, all you need to do, and if you can see, I've pierced through a little hole. I know you can see it, and I get one of these swivel clips, and I just put it through. Put it through you can make the hole a bit bigger i haven't made it on this one but once i start making a bit more i'll make sure that you know all these holes are a bit bigger and then once once i get it in here we go this is very light very strong little jig it looks so cheap people if they were looking at this they'll be like what the hell is this guy doing but i'm telling you right now making my own jig has caught me so much fish so before you put the clip on you get yourself a whiting you get yourself a yellowtail and you use this jig to pierce through the fish to make a hole right through the fish because if you go with the cable ties see how it bends you're never going to get it through so if you pierce it with this you'll get the cable tie through the fish a lot quicker and easier and then this part here comes out at the tail end and then i'll just use this clip swivel i'll clip it onto my trace and then what will also work is if i've got a lot of cable ties exposed like that where my fingers are tail and this is the cable tie what i generally do is I always get elastic bands and then I tie the tail tightly with the elastic bands onto this cable tie. And I wished I had a specimen to show you how this effectively works. And I will make a video once these lockdowns end. Believe me, this is a great jig to use, especially if you're using fresh bait that you've caught, such as yellowtail. Uh, trumpeter whiting's also great. A red spotted whiting's great because if you lose this, no dramas. If you use this, well, it won't bother you, but you've lost something that's that could be of an asset to you, especially if you're making these jigs out of cable ties. But if you definitely lose one of these, then uh, it's going to hurt your pocket, and um, yeah, it won't be a nice feeling. So I hope you've learnt something now. Whenever you're out there, um, do this make a jig like this usually i use two spikes i only have the one now uh, but i usually use two of these spikes and i put them in together just like this one and then i put my fish through all the way so the nose of it comes to the spike and then i fish this under a float a big bobby colk float 12 foot rod so i can get it out to the distance and i guarantee you you will catch big southern calamari like this if you got any questions please feel free to comment, more than happy to help you out. Until next time guys, happy fishing.